Good morning, my friends. After a very cozy day yesterday, I was really exhausted from the trip and also from the jet lag. Uh, yeah, I pretty much didn't do too much. I just met a very nice uh, friend of mine who uh, I know from Vienna. We have been working together. And uh, he, is in the, he and his family um, are in Miami. And so we met for a nice dinner at a Cuban restaurant yesterday evening. It was absolutely fantastic to spend time with uh, Gabor and his family, his lovely kids and his wife. This is Gabor. <laughs> So we are sitting at South Beach, the good Cuba restaurant. One of the very rare occasions in my whole life where I smoke. You also have a, sleep, a sleeping family. <laughs> yeah, and today I'm gonna go to South Beach, Miami, to check out a little bit of the seaside also. And uh, first of all, I will start my day with a little breakfast and a little planning session on the next days. Really excited to see Miami by day. Parking really seems to be not so easy in the US. So either it's nearly impossible or you pay astronomic prices like I do for six dollars per hour although the park house is quite fancy here hopefully the Chevy likes it I'm gonna go for a Cuban cafe to find some breakfast. By the way, if you're in Miami, try the Havana 1957. They have good traditional style Cuban food at moderate prices and also live music, good locations, stylish, nice. Right now I'm waiting in friend in the Cuban cafe. Um, I haven't seen Barney in a long time and we've been in school together and uh, he's uh, from time to time in Miami. And um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think, I think here he comes. He's, he's just on a run. He must be sweaty. Barney, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, it was, absolutely. Walking down the South Beach. Look at this, Art Deco meets 80s. Stepping off the land now. Telephone connection between these two terminals is made. The newest form of electronic journalism, like.
What's up, Mr. Howard?